what up YouTube, it's Tim Nice here back with another video. And this video is gonna be about uh think about thinking for yourself. I think this is just something that like I said it's the only video that I had for probably about a couple months now. Uh and I just wanna speak about it. Of course through my experiences as well. Cause you know, like I said, I'm a young black male. I don't know how many other young black males may be watching this, probably a lot, you know. So like I said, I I think that I just speak for a lot of for myself and you know and others like me uh very much ahead of the curve I'm only 21 but you know like I, said, I still got a lot to learn a lot of more and knowledge to gain and wisdom to gain as well so but i'm just speaking from my own experience and with the life that they just short you know the 21 the 20 seconds i've been on earth so yeah uh thinking for yourself has been something that i've been learning to do in life like the past year or so and it's been extremely liberating I'm not happy, but I'm content, right? Like I said, I'm never in this state where I'm just happy. I think people that want to be happy all the time, they very much, in my opinion, it's sort of very, it's very childish, like, right? It's very childlike. And it's nothing wrong with being child. Like I just think it's, in a way, it's very unrealistic. And I get, like, the, the real thing isn't real anyway, but it's like the idea, like, I just want to be happy all the time. That's not like a, you know, being happy is a choice. You can just be happy. I think content is just more of my style, right? Like I said, I can I'm very much like a, I'm a straight face person all the time. Like people be thinking I'll be mad, but I'm just I'm cool. I'm literally cool 24 seven, right? Unless something has happened, but most of the time I'm very cool of a person. Uh, very chill. I'm just laid back. And I'm just very like I'm neutral. Like I'm a neutral person. Now I'm not saying I'm a neutral person. As in, like I said, I have to be always in the middle. But my mood is very just neutral. Like I said, I'm very much a calm, collected person, day in and day out, right? Like I said, you gonna see me. You see me like most of the time. If I'm neutral, I'm laughing. Like I said, and I'm just. And if I'm not, I'm either laughing. I'm either neutral or I'm thinking. Like I'm, I'll be like, and the more I think, the more I'll be like banging this frown face. But I'll be cool, you know. But I've been thinking for myself more and more, and I'm just gaining consciousness and just growing, and just trying to think for myself more and more. And it's been very liberating. I think that everybody should think for themselves. Like I said, in a way, I think that people get money people change their lives completely uh do a whole 360 or a 180 in their life and they start to change it and then they understand it damn like in their mind they're still not free from their own traumas or they're not free from judgment they not they think they well they're not free from people's expectations they're not free from shit their own expectations or they just start to notice that damn like their life that they the life that they tried their hardest to create was actually somebody else's life or somebody else's plan for their own life. And I think that's sad, if I'm being honest. Like, that's one thing, I guess, when I was in high school that I didn't want to do. I didn't want to have a life that was just, I, I, went, to, I went to school and do this because somebody told me to. I just, I didn't, I didn't vibe with that real well. Even in school, I wasn't the perfect student. Like I said, people always thought I was a good student because I was quiet. That's one good ass, that's a bad ass theory, I think, that you get rid of that all the quiet kids are good students. No, they not. For me, I was, I, mean, I was me. <laughs> I was, like I said, I was in there just getting there, just get out, right? I was in there because the law. Uh, and my mother, like I said, she rather had me in school than, like I said, I'd be out in the streets doing all type of stuff. So in many ways, school and just even my house protected me growing up. I was very just sheltered as a kid. Uh, and that was probably just due to my own just lonesomeness, right? I was just a lonely kid, right? And me and my mom would get into it about me going to college and stuff like that, where I'm going and all this type of stuff. I even turned on a four year, like full ride scholarship and now that I think about it at times, it was a it was what I wanted, but it's not what I wanted, right? And I wasn't I was just too immature to really see it, right? And I wanted things to go my way the way I wanted to and I was just super blind to see it and I turned it down on some silly shit and I think that's not, it's not regret because I mean I was upset that when I thought about it initially I'm like dang I really could have had a full ride scholarship and I turned it down and how hard it is getting to college and just not how hard it is but just what goes into it I just wish I would have at times I wish I would have just went to college just because it was all I ever wanted I wanted to, I just wanted the freedom I wanted to get out of the house I was living in and I'm here and crazy thing I'm still living here but that was the goal right uh but hey, like I said, things work out the way they're supposed to work out, right? But now I'm on my own. I'm trying to 
become a be a man and step on my own and do for myself so I can start helping everybody else. But of course I gotta do for myself first. But me going to college, let's say if I did go to college, I probably would have still been miserable or I would have been on my path or I would have like I said, I maybe I may not even be on the spiritual path I'm on. I may would probably would have took longer for me to get on it. Especially when I talk to older people, they be like, Oh, you're very young to be doing this or being aware of this and I mean that's a blessing. And I'm grateful that my soul and spirit, you know, chose this time for me to be this way. And I'm grateful for it. But, like I said, in that time, I wasn't thinking for myself. So, and I was thinking about well, what, my, what my mom would think or what everybody around me was thinking. And caring about that extremely. And I was just, and that type of stuff just made me the person going to college. Because, like I said, realistically, I think after I just did the idea of school, because I was never a good student. I didn't want to be a good student. I didn't care about that. Like I said, I just wanted to make some money. And I just wanted to. And, I was, and the crazy thing, I didn't have no hustler bone in me too, so I wasn't about to go to, you know, go to the streets or just find a way to make some money. Like it's, and that's just due to my laziness, right? My laziness, my laziness initially. Let's say that because I'm, I'm all my laziness for the most part now. But that's just how it was, right? Uh, for the most part, like I said, I was going to college because I just wanted to please my mother and have her off my back. And I'm not in college now, and like I said, I just don't care about her being on. Like I said, I, I gotta do what you gonna make me happy and how and what my heart sing to, right? And this is what my heart sing to, and that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I'm gonna keep punching it until it happens. Like I said, I don't care how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna do it until I make some shit happen, and that's just what I think. That's what I'm gonna do, and that's I'm that's that's my risk. That's, I'm, I'm taking a risk that I'm the man risk I'm supposed to take. I'm supposed to take a risk on myself, and that's what I'm going to do. I said, and, and of course it's scary. I think that's one thing I've been dealing with heavily is a lot of fear and a lot of uncertainty. But I know what I'm supposed to do, and so I'm gonna keep doing and and get get used to the uncertainty and the fear because not the fear, but just the uncertainty and just the, you know, I mean, get ready with the fear. What they be saying, I'm tired of getting nice. You got to live with the fear, and I mean, that's just what I'm gonna do, and that's what's gonna be until, like I said, I accomplish what I said I might accomplish. Being my multi-millionaire, you know, like I said, and just being able to help my loved ones, like I said, take care of my family, and just being able to take care of them, no matter they're grateful, or, you know, no matter if they're grateful or not, just doing my best to really be a man, like I said, I was when I was a kid, and be there, being there for my family, like I said, I was when I was a kid, and just being there for myself, more importantly. But thinking for yourself is something that's not easy. You're going to come with a lot of people looking at you sideways. It's going to come with a lot of uncertainty. It's going to come with a lot of fear. It's going to come with a lot of misfortune initially. But the only thing I had to do was stick it through. You got to stick it out. You got to keep moving. And you can't allow your ego to get in the way of that. And you must keep pushing through. I about to say, it's going to be a lot of negative emotions like doubt. I have a fight with doubt every day. And I'm getting better, like quiet in my mind, so I'm not getting clouded by doubt and doubt stopping me from doing what I need to do. Uh, it's fear of judgment, missing out. Like my niece and nephew is growing up, and I, I feel like I, I don't know. I don't feel like I know my brothers and sisters either. But and I'm trying to stay here, trying to be present enough so I can be able to experience them and grow up with them and see how they're doing. But, yeah, but I know that if I don't, I'm never going to be able to. I know that if I don't do what I need to do, I'm going to miss out on, you know, some of the years. But, of course, when they older, it would be even better for me to talk to them and just be there for them. You know, when I'm successful, when I'm, hey, when I'm, when I'm able to sustain myself, right? So, yeah, thinking for yourself is very liberating. Like I said, you got to have a lot of courage. And just me growing up, I didn't have courage in my heart. Like I said, I'm developing, I develop courage not, like, to be able to speak in front of a camera and to deal with my own traumas and deal with other people and be more confident when I speak with other people. And it's been very hard, it's been very tricky, but like I said, I'm still doing it and I'm still prevailing. And like I said, I don't know if I said this in the last video, but it's like when you experience builds confidence. Like I said, you have to put yourself in the fire, you have to throw yourself in the ring and you need to get your ass whooped. You need to, you know, fail, you need to lose in order to gain something gain some knowledge, gain some wisdom, gain some insights, and just, and all in all, gain success and be successful.
so yeah think for yourself to start small so you gotta cast out all negativity you just have to do work you have to do it no matter what anybody is telling you whether they're wrong, no matter what you're telling yourself but also like I said that journey of just thinking for yourself you gotta be friend yourself you gotta reparent yourself and just to move forward with yourself and your own life so yeah if y'all like the video like comment subscribe and I will see y'all later thank you